Thank you very much. My guests today, still current WBO champion Eva Brodniska, her trainer uh, Gus. Uh, Gus, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with with the very simple question: What are the people missing when they are talking about Mayer versus Brodniska and they are saying Mayer is a, is a high favorite? Uh, even Mayer said. Brodnitska is not on my level. What they are missing talking about Eva? Well, they're missing <clears throat> that she's making major improvements. This is our sixth camp together. Uh, the, the improvements she's making every day is incredible. But that's okay. Let them miss it all they want because they, they won't miss it on the 31st. That I can tell you. Eva, uh... When the opponent uh, don't respect me after we going to the ring, and uh, it's a big surprise. I hard work, dedication. We have six uh, defense uh, together, and I learn very much, so much. Uh, Eva just just said it. The, the important par part of you know there there was a lot. There is a still. We we still have a couple of weeks to go. There is a lot of talk behind the scenes. On the, on the social media, Michaela Meyer is basically saying what I said before, even Bob Arum is saying this will be one of the first, the w, WBO belt will be one of the first that Michaela Meyer is going to win for top rank. Eva, I mean, you realizing that everyone ex expecting her to just walk through you uh, to win easily. Uh, how do you take this mentally? Oh, I'm strong mentally. I don't care about this when people talk around. You know, 14 years ago when I started boxing, they told nobody want to see the woman in the boxing and I never achieved the world title. So I don't care. It's good that they believe in themselves. Uh, but uh, I'm very prepared very well. Um, we have a good game plan and uh, I will win this fight, but by my mentally. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to the event of top rank. Uh, first time fight out of my country, but uh, I'm confident, absolutely sure my win. Now I'm going to jump. Appreciate it. Eva, if someone doesn't know Eva, this is who Eva is. Always very confident uh, on the ring, outside of the ring. How is Eva, this is a question for, for Gus Current. how is Eva uh, during the training? You know her for, for a couple of years now. If you can if you can remind us how this combination between you Eva started and you said uh, in your opening words that you see a lot of if improvement without, you know, telling people what the game plan is, how this thing with Eva started, you in Florida, she in Poland, and what she is, uh, how she's fighting right now. Well, I can tell you, when I started with Eva, it's Eva's like any other fighter, I like to see how we how we mesh together in the gym she could be a great fighter whatever vice versa sometimes it just doesn't work but ava has the champion's mentality which i which i love and i love to train ava is very easy to train whatever you tell ava better be right because she's going to work on it and work on it and work on it until she can perfect it and i can tell you that and adamic can tell you better than anybody you don't get that in one camp or two camps. It takes time. And <clears throat> Ava's doing things now that she wasn't able to do, quite frankly. She wasn't able to do before. She tried. She tried. She could do it in the gym. Wasn't really. She could bring it sometimes into the sparring. She's doing everything now, and it's working to perfection. Now the question for Ava. How is to work with? With, with gas what do you like about the gas and we can be honest right now we are all friends what do you know like <laughs> you know i'm working with gas uh, now it's uh, more than two years and it's absolutely great you know he he's good friend he's a great coach not only you know technical explain me everything about the boxing but uh, so a part of the when we go out from the gym, he's a good friend and uh, try to also learn me my confidence, grow up and mentally, you know. He sent me a lot of video about the boxing, a video about uh, some psychological stuff. So we are, you know, a very good team. It's not working if it's uh, not good team 
at the gym and outside of the gym. Question for both of you guys and appreciate it again. I know Eva, we're gonna we're gonna ask I'm gonna ask you and, and the guys about it later. You you ended your sparring sessions before the fight, this is what I heard. But first first uh, the question. Some of the uh, some of the negatives about you boxing being brought up is you don't like to risk too much. You you are happy with with winning fights uh, uh, safely. This was the word I was looking for. You agree with this statement? Uh, that, that you sometimes being just passive and just happy to fight uh, you style, and you think that you can win this way fighting versus Michaela Meyer, who prides herself as a being very aggressive fighter, someone who goes forward and wants to finish fights early. If you can ever start the, the you know, the answer for it, you like oh, just if, I wanna, if I want to win only easily what I'm doing here, what I'm doing three months on the camp, and, uh, you know, I'm here in USA one month, I think it will be top fight. Uh, every fight is different. Every opponent is different. And for each fight, we have different game plan. So this fight, I know uh, it would be tough. Uh, the Michaela, it's prepared well, but I also prepare well. And she want to gain my ba belt, I want to give my belt. So we have very good uh, tactical. And uh, we, we, we see in the ring. Yeah, I know that some people thinking uh, it would be easy fight for Michaela. I really uh, believe me, it would be not easy fight for her. Gus, you stage. Well, I, my take on it is this. Ava has more courage than, uh, forget female fighters, but a lot of male fighters also. So as far as winning just to be comfortable and, and to make it an, an easy way for her to win it, you know, in a, in a, in a certain style. Um, you know, I guess here's the thing. Here's what I can tell you. If you go on YouTube and watch Ava, You've made a big mistake because this is a different Ava, and I and I and I'm I'm telling you this honestly. It it and I and I um I I I guess my way of I'm looking for the right word here. I guess my explanation on this is just more camps together, but things are starting to really click and work perfectly now. So uh, yes, I can see you know in, in in past fights with you know ugly fights and whatever. To me, she's won clearly. But the way she's learning in the gym and the way things are starting to hit on all cylinders now, I think you're going to find a different Ava Brodniska in this fight. Question also for part of you guys about, I'm, I'm going to use the word explosion of women boxing. I, I'm going to be first to say, and like I said, we know each other a long time. I was not the big fan of women's boxing. I mean, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know pretty well. I know, I know. We're not going to go there right now, but uh, maybe later. Maybe after your championship uh, uh, belt is going to be still on your belt in, in Las Vegas. But, you know, I wasn't a big fan of, of boxing, women's boxing, because I thought the competition is not as strong. Uh, ladies with just a couple of fights are fighting for the world championship. But you know what? Women's boxing grew on me big time. I mean, I, I realize uh, how tough it is for women to compete on the highest possible level. And uh, now the question, long winding question, but now the question, uh, how do you see the women's boxing during those two years? You mentioned Eva about how this thing changes. How do you see it developing? Uh, if there is something you would like to add to women's boxing and also a uh, question for, uh, for Gas, you've been you're training women, you're training men. Uh, biggest difference between the perception about how the women's boxing developed uh, earlier and what is now. Eva, let's please start. I know you're talking to a guy who did not so like women's boxing. It's true. Remember your part. <laughs> so when I started 14 years ago, it was like crazy things, you know. Uh, everybody, like I mentioned before, told me that it's not going, working, nobody want to see this, never um, the female boxing, bo uh, boxing will be not on the Olympic Games. Um, and in Poland, when I start pro boxing seven years ago, uh, no one from promoter, apart to Max Boxing Promotion, Mariusz Garbowski, no one wanna, wanted to have the girls. 
uh, in the group. So it's big progress, big develop. And uh, what I see now, the future is brilliant for the FMA boxing, um, boxers, you know. Look on UFC, how it's great uh, fights, uh, you know, the main events. Uh, so I think it's big uh, time for the woman and we have to prove much more at the gym and in the ring to show that we are really good fighter and to prove that the people can uh, watch us buy the tickets or buy the pay-per-view and watch us. Mr. Gus? Well, I can say that I trained women from many years ago and to be honest with you, I was a lot like you, but not because I didn't want to see, I didn't think, didn't think they deserved to be in the boxing ring, but I had a little trouble, you know, teaching it Teaching the boxing is one thing, but to actually see a woman get hit, I wasn't, I didn't like that so much. But when you see the hard work that they put in, I have to tell you that, I mean, even in Poland, I watch these girls, they have a lot more heart, more courage, and the willingness to learn than many men. And uh, I can tell you from even Ava sparring partners in Poland and in the U.S. here, the, the, the heart, the dedication, the will to learn I see that more so in women than I than I do in a lot of men. And I, I don't know what the explanation or what the reasoning is behind that. Maybe they feel they have more to prove. But if I, here's here, listen to me. If a lot of these guys had that same discipline and willingness to learn, you'd see an you'd see boxing back climbing the ladder again as one of the most popular sports because you know, I don't see that as much in the women. Sometimes you have a talent level here. Sometimes you have a talent level there. But the heart and the, des and the desire to learn is always right here for, for all the women I've seen. And that's including Ma Michaela Meyer. Look, I got off the phone this morning with Christy Martin. You talk about a great woman fighter, you know, former sure. world champion. Uh, my kid's fighting on her show the week after Ava fights. You know, Christy's a, a you talk about hard worker and, and somebody who came from nothing gotcha. and, and rose to the top. You know, I give credit to Brodnitska. I give credit to Michaela Meyer. I'm not one of those. Oh, Mc no. Listen, I give credit where credit is due. Michaela Meyer, Katie, Katie Taylor, all these girls, uh, Clarissa Shields, Ava Brodnitska, they're bringing women's boxing to the forefront. You, met, you mentioned you mentioned a couple of names. I'm going to, first of all, last two questions. I promise you, you, you want to do something else. Ever there was a, uh, I'm not going to say that, uh chaos but there was changes in in your plan you signed with matchroom boxing you're supposed to you're supposed to fight in england for wbc title it all changes you know it's it, it's all changed now you're fighting defending your title wbo title on on a top rank how those uh, uh i know you have a a lot of distance to anything what's going on around you and around the world but uh you also, I spoke with with uh, with Gus Karen when this whole thing happened. He said, "I don't know who he's going to fight." Or we exchanged the text messages. Did how do you take this? This uh, maybe I'm going to say it. This is chaos about who you're supposed to fight, where you're supposed to fight. What's the arrangement next? Uh, can you guys say something about what will happen possibly after uh, Michaela Meyer fight? We were in this time when we didn't know if who we get the fight. We were in Poland and, you know, that's the business. You have to be ready to fight everybody. And um, that's the boxing. You are never sure anything till you sign the contract and till you get to the ring. So, uh, yeah, first plan, it was fight to Harry, Terry Harper uh, and um, the unification, the, the belts. Uh, it was a uh, nice option. But after we have uh, information that we fight Michaela Meyer and, you know, it's uh, nothing happened without reason. I wanted all my life fighting America. Uh, it's a great country, great people. You know, everybody is smiling to me, very positive. Uh, so I like to be back here and the fight in Las Vegas is also a huge deal. So after this fight, um, I have possibility to fight Terry Harper. So first focus on the Meyer after we see what's going to happen later. Gus? Well, as far as uh, you know, the part of your question of who we were supposed to fight, 
I disagree with Ava. I think originally we were supposed to fight Michaela Meyer. Uh, I was supposed to go to Poland just for a short amount of time, come back to the States, finish out the camp. Then things changed. We were going to fight Terry Harper. So then it was back to Michaela Meyer. I forgot about and, and I don't like to be in limbo. When I'm training, it's it's not a level of profit. It's, it's training for specific fights. So I was working. It, it was good because we got to work on, on cleaning some things up in training with Ava, give us more time to spend. But I like to know who the opponent is. And who I need to, to, to really study and, and, and go forward, you know, as far as the training goes. As far as who our next fight is, I leave that to the guys with the suits, you know, guys like Grabowski, Eddie Hearn. Uh, but deep down, I want to unify the titles. That's, that's, I mean, that's what we're in this business for, right? To collect the belts. And the best thing that cooperation with Mushroom, it was for me a really great deal and I'm very happy, you know, to be part of this big group, Mushroom. The last question, there is, there is an unknown in front of you, Eva, and in front of you, guys. It's being in a bubble. I mean, Michaela Meyer has experience of staying in this very controlled environment in MGM uh, Convention Center. When you guys leaving for Las Vegas, or are you guys even thinking about it, that, that everything is going to change around you? You've never been in the position like that, and um, being such a control environment, you have to go to one restaurant, one place, not to move the bubble, the bubble of Las Vegas. Are you even thinking about it? Where you guys, where you guys going? What you guys thoughts about it? And on the end, please uh, give me the prediction or what you guys expecting from the fight. But first, the bubble. Eva, are you ready for just no, being controlled? I know you are a girl who doesn't like to be controlled at all. But in this case, <laughs> you're gonna be. At the camp, I control. I, I control every day. So it's not my. It will be not my first time in Las Vegas. So uh, it will be second but time. In the bubble, first time. Believe me. Different. Yeah, in the bubble for sure. But you know you. You need to be ready for everything and uh, for uh, for also this accommodation. Um, and it, it's it's nothing changed, you know, with me mentally. We still a little training and uh, focus uh, on the fight. Guys, are you ready? Con con control is all right here. I mean, as far as you know, being in a bubble and, and doing all that stuff, you know, we're not going to lose any concentration or anything like that. We're we're both pretty. No, disregard all the pictures she puts up there on Instagram and Facebook. We're boring. You can't. People. It's impossible. We're boring it's impossible. people. You know? We're boring people. We, we, you know, 25 hours a day, eight days a week. It's boxing, 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 boxing. So the camp is always under control. Yes, we have fun. We laugh. We joke. That's what you're supposed to do. You got to keep everything sure. loose. But the control is all here. We could, they could put us in a bubble. They could put us in the closet. They could put us under Never. this. It doesn't matter. You know, the, the, what matters is getting into that ring. I, I, I know Ava would like to have fans there. Who, who wouldn't want to have fans there? But, it does, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as we get in between those 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 ropes, that's all that matters. Yeah, it's only pity that uh, can't be any spectators, but the situation is like this. And we can't wait the fight. And I'm looking forward to seeing my good friend and being stuck in a bubble with Al Mitchell, a good friend of mine. Just talked to Al the other day. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Guys, the last words from you guys, what we what we should expect uh, 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 in Halloween. We, we, we're talking about Halloween. So what we can expect on October 31st in Las Vegas, first ever, then, then Gus Karen. Tough fight, fire in the ring. To the male boxer who want to win this fight, who have zero in record, somebody will uh, go out from the ring with uh, lost this uh, O in the record, and will be it will be not me. So, looking forward for this fight, it will be uh, spectacular, and see you, see you there. I agree with Ava. Mr. I agree with Ava 100%. It's going to be a great fight. But you're gonna have you have two fighters in there, one world champion who's who's uh, hasn't been given the credit she deserves, and another girl who's uh, a great fighter in her own right. And uh, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a great fight, but you're gonna see Ava come out, and she's gonna actually earn the respect that she deserves, and she's gonna get the verification that I hear all the Polish fans talking about. She's gonna get the verification that she deserves. She's world champion. She's gonna remain world champion.
Thank you very much. I mean, this is this is what you get from Gas and Eva. They're very open. They don't they don't do anything like you know halfway. They they go full speed ahead. Appreciate it. Great interview from, yes, from yes. you guys. <laughs> what 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 Eva? We are simply simple simple simple. simply. Yeah. Yeah. My English, you know, my English. My no, no, your English is, is, is excellent. You really don't don't need any translator whatsoever. I was hoping maybe to help you, but no, no, you really don't need any translator. You you're doing absolutely great. And uh and I know uh and I know uh Gus also knows some Polish words. Please do not quote them right now. This is you know he knows only bad words. <laughs> He understands more Polish than, than he ever will let you know. Guys, I truly appreciate it. It was a great interview. Uh, have a safe uh, last couple of days in Florida, safe trip, and really hopefully to see you guys there in MGM uh, Las Vegas. Uh, I wish you guys a great fight. And as usual, let the best women win in this case. Let's the best fighter win. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.